In this video, I'll be going over a few tips to help your kids safely climb trees and logs when outdoors. Coming right up. Welcome to Adventures with Andrew. Hello and welcome to Eco Elsa. If you're new and you don't know me, my name is Elsa and I make videos to help you get outdoors. In case you're wondering, I have a very special guest here today. My fiance, Andrew, who has 12 years climbing experience and several years as a climbing instructor. We're going to be going over some of the best tips and practices for when climbing in nature on trees and logs. Now, keep in mind that climbing is inherently dangerous, even when outdoors in nature. And the tips we're going to go over today are meant to help lessen the chance of injury when climbing outdoors. Remember, your safety is your responsibility. So it's important that you make sure the area around you is always safe for climbing, as well as do everything you can to lessen the likelihood of injury. There are many benefits of climbing, both indoors and out. Primarily, it's gonna come down to the physical nature of the activity. Working on building upper body strength, coordination, core and legs. So never be too intimidated by the idea that you have to be a fit athletic person to do climbing, either outdoors on trees, rocks, or indoors at a gym. Secondly, it's a great cognitive workout, trying to solve the puzzle of how to get yourself from point A to B in the most efficient manner. So with that, let's get started into the 10 tips to make outdoors more safe for you when climbing outdoors. Number one, wear proper shoes when climbing. This means not climbing barefoot on trees or logs, and also not climbing on trees and logs wearing big clunky hiking shoes. The reason why for barefoot is we don't want you to hurt your feet or your toes while climbing, and for the shoes, we don't want you to have big clunky hiking boots on because they may get snagged on things or trip you and make you fall. It's also harder to feel where exactly your feet are at. And the more connection you can get with what you're climbing on, the more secure you're gonna be. Numero dos, never climb taller than you are. The reason we don't want to climb too high is that in nature you do not have a padding system below to prevent serious injury. Minimizing your height will keep you from going too high and lessen the chance of severe injury in the event of a fall. Making me lose my track of thought. Okay. Butt monkeys. <laughs> Number three. Don't wear clothes that are going to get snagged on the trees or the logs that you're climbing on. Make sure you're wearing clothing that's okay if it gets a little bit ripped or torn, but you don't want to be in things like dresses or baggy pants or long baggy shirts because they're more likely of getting snagged on things, which can cause you to rip clothes, but also can cause you to fall out of the tree or get stuck and hanging in the tree by your clothes, which wouldn't be too fun. Four, know what's below you. Never climb over hazards such as rocks, water, or other items that could cause you to get injured in the event you fall on them. Be aware that if you fall, know exactly where you will fall and keep, keep that area free of any hazards. Number five, always climb with a buddy. That way if one of you falls, the other one can help or go and get help. Going off number five, with number six, have your friend be your spotter. Their job is to make sure that if you fall, you do not land on your head or neck. They're gonna have their hands up, aiming for your mid back with their fingers together so in the event of a fall, they can guide you away from any hazards. Number seven, never climb on a dead tree or a rotting log. We wanna make sure whatever you're climbing on is sturdy enough to hold you. That way you are not falling through it, breaking through it, or when climbing on it, it falls over and potentially crushes you. If it doesn't look safe, don't do it. Go with your gut. Number eight, don't put yourself in unsafe situations. Hanging upside down may seem fun, but if you're doing so in a way that if you were to fall, you would not be able to help break your fall or land safely, it could lead to serious injuries with impacts on your head or neck. So make sure while climbing, think about if you were to fall, how you would fall. Sounds like a good plan. Okay, and... Wait, didn't you used to climb upside down when you were a kid? <laughs> we went over this. I broke most of these rules. Folks, do as she says. Not if she does. Hey, I follow these rules now. It's just as a kid, I wasn't really. Sorry, Mom. 
Number nine, don't climb spiky or thorny trees. Now all trees are inherently going to have maybe some sharper bark or some broken off twigs here and there, but when you're climbing a tree that is covered in spikes and covered in thorns, you're asking to get your arms, your hands, potentially if your body falls against the tree, all cut up. And we don't want you to leave the tree climbing experience all bloodied up from the tree that you're climbing on. Number 10. Adults, make sure you're not trying to safety-proof nature by cutting off twigs and branches off of trees to try and prevent your kids from climbing them. You could be inherently making it more dangerous for your kids and other kids by leaving sharp little twigs or by weakening the structure of the branch so that a kid, when they finally do get up to it, they end up falling through it, which not, would not be great for them and would not be fun for you. It's also important to remember, parents, that by damaging trees, you could make them more susceptible to disease or parasites that could kill the tree itself. Don't be responsible for killing an amazing climbing tree. I will find you. And basically... Our rule of thumb is... Don't be stupid. Yeah. Sounds like a dumb idea. Probably is. Don't do it. Don't do it. You looking at me? Don't do it. I'm All looking right. at you. You're forced to. Yeah, the rest of my freaking life. <laughs> Proof! Unfortunately, that is all we have time for today. I hope you enjoyed today's video and you make sure to subscribe. That way you can be notified when future videos are out about Eco Elsa to help you and your kids get outdoors. As well as if you're looking for more resources to help you and your kids get outdoors, check out the links in the description below, as well as my new website, www.ecoelsa.com, where there's tons more resources for you. As well as if you live in Minnesota, you can sign up for nature tours or outdoor classes with Eco Elsa educators. So as always, hope you have a great rest of your week you be safe learn lots have fun and get outdoors we'll see you out there bye that's my lemon lemon bread why are you eating it you didn't want it i'm hungry he's eating my lemon bread you see this this monster you're marrying this monster hmm everything is awesome <laughs> Especially me, cause I'm so damn cool. Yes, I'm that so can be, awesome. See, that can be your intro. If you ever That's do. gonna be my intro. <laughs> Welcome to Adventures with Andrew. I'm so awesome. Better than Elsa could ever be. This is my favorite. Please stop. <laughs>